So to begin with, the paper is so weak that you have to have two felts to support it on each side. But as you go through the press section, I won't draw all the intricacies of the press section, but what gradually happens is that you don't need to support the paper on both sides. So you start off with two felts and you end up with one felt and you end up spitting the paper out at the end of the press section without the need for it to be supported at all. And the idea with felts is that you squeeze the felt and as the felt is released by the roller, it will suck water out of that paper sheet. So as I say, you start off with two felts and then you go through a series of processes where you might here just have one roller and one felt coming in here for a second pass. So that, that will be the press section, a series of felts pulling water out of out of the paper sheet. Eventually you can get to the point where you have two rollers pressing that sheet before it gets to the next section, which is the drying section. And the drying section involves passing the paper between heated drums. So now the drums are pressing the paper, but you're not squeezing the water out anymore, you're applying heat to that paper and uh, that is causing the generation of steam. So the drying section, which is usually the longest section of the paper making process, uh, is where most of the energy gets expended in the, in, the, in the paper making process. So the drying section is usually enclosed in a paper machine. Uh, it's quite hard to see what's going on until the paper breaks and then it's quite easy to see what's going on because they suddenly open all the sides up and all these people appear from nowhere to fix the break because when you have a break in a paper making machine and it's running at hundreds and hundreds of meters a minute uh, it doesn't take much imagination to realize that that's going to cost an awful lot of money. Uh, once the paper comes out at the end of the drying section it's then ready to go um, into uh, what are called take-up reels in the drying section you might apply coatings, so um, coatings are usually minerals like KLN clays used quite a lot and this gives a nice smooth surface to the paper uh, but you can also have fillers which are added fillers like calcium carbonate which will help to fill the holes in the paper and make the paper a much more smooth printing surface. They also make the paper white as does the kaolin so that reduces the demand for bleaching uh, which is particularly important for mechanical pulps which only use lignin masking bleaching so any white that you want to introduce um, really has to come from these fillers or from dyes that actually um, fluoresce slightly in the blue part of the spectrum to make the paper appear whiter than it is. Um, you can put other additives in like starch is used quite a lot because it acts not only as what's called a sizing agent which is something that helps to improve the surface of the paper but it also helps to stick the fibres together so you can have stronger paper. Uh, because you put starch in. So there's quite a lot of technology that goes into all these additives that go into paper making. And one of the reasons that recycled paper, um, when they make recycled paper, which tends to be much more for newsprint these days than other types of paper, uh, they like to have quite a high input of magazine grade paper because the magazine grade paper has a very high virgin fibre content, but it also has a lot of these fillers in it and these fillers help with improving the quality of the, the next generation, the second generation paper, which is not as good as the magazine grade, uh, but it hasn't dropped to the point where you have to make tissue out of it or, or make insulation out of it or something like that. So these additives uh, have a very important function to make. So as I say, having gone through the, the drying section, then we then come to the take-up reel and after that we will go through a series of cutting processes where that reel is unwound and it goes through the, the paper slitting machines and it's, it's then wound onto the, 
um, to the reels that actually use for transporting the paper to the, the printing sites. 